Long time ago, and this story is true, a kingdom was ruled by a princess in a Goomba shoe. To rule the land, the people chose her, but there was an evil turtle named Bowser. One day it happened, her castle was under attack, the soldiers weren't able to hold the evil back. After a long fight, the princess had to realize there was no way to escape from these evil guys. But the princess, with her far-sighted view, when kidnapped, left behind her Goomba shoe. Luckily a hero entered the place not long after the event. When he saw the empty room, he knew what it meant. He had to go on a quest through the dangerous land to rescue the princess from Bowser's evil hand. And maybe, if successful, he's able to snatch a kiss. So are you ready? Let's do this! If our plumber wants to save his princess for good, he first needs to make his way through a confusing wood, to make matters even worse as a whole. In the middle of the forest, there's a bridge, guarded by a troll. But before Mario has to deal with the troll, he needs to solve the mystery of the forest. The trees here seem to contain power blocks, but our plumber isn't able to reach them. Luckily, he has his magical companion, the Goomba Shoe, with him, and performing a ground pound while in this magical device allows him to send small shock waves to the side, which lift small objects into the air. So here Mario was able to lift the power block onto the donut block, which led to a chain reaction and made the tree disappear. Wow, what a mysterious forest! But it looks as if this wasn't the last riddle of the forest. If our plumber wants to get past this tree, he needs to find a way to trigger a power block again. But this time the power block is blocked by Muncher and whenever lifted into the air, returned to where he just was. So Mario has to figure a way out to get this power block to the power block trigger contraption to the right. Luckily for him the solution is easy. All he needs to do is to push the power block below the Muncher and the path magically opens up for him and he's able to enter the forest bridge area. Sadly for a plumber, there is no easy way to traverse this bridge as it is guarded by a gigantic troll who punches everything into the ground that comes close to him. It looks as if Mario took damage here as well. Luckily for him, there is a Goomba Shoe regain door at the beginning of this room. It looks as if Mario has to outsmart the troll if he wants to reach the other side of the bridge. Luckily, there are some P switches in a cave close to the river and by jumping out of his helpful shoe companion at the right time, he's able to reach them. All that Mario has to do now is to wait until the timer ends, because P switches scare away trolls. With the troll defeated and the mystery of the forest solved, Mario made a big step towards saving the Goomba Shoe Princess, but there are still a lot of threats on his way. In order to reach Bowser's castle, Mario needs to climb higher, because the turtle's home is behind a mountain which spits fire. But deep inside this mountain, a creature exists, which has chain chomps instead of fists. Traversing the fire pipe mountain is really no easy task for Mario, even together with his Goomba Shoe, which magically grew wings. The fire pipe mountain seems to be the natural habitat of winged Goomba Shoes. However, the Goomba Shoes living here adjusted themselves to the hot and horrible climate of the mountain and started to shoot fireballs. That makes traveling through this mountain even harder for our plumber. Turns out a lot of enemies become way more dangerous if they are combined with a Goomba Shoe. But Mario has no choice. The Goomba Shoe Princess is in danger and he has to reach the Pipe Mountain Caves alive if he wants to save her. But deep, deep inside the Pipe Mountain Caves an ancient beast slumbers. A beast which was locked away thousands of years ago. A beast which Mario just woke up. This unnamed creature immediately starts to chase Mario. Oh Mario, what have you done? There's obviously no way for Mario to defeat this creature. All he can do is run. Sadly for him, the fire pipe cave is an auto-scrolling cave. So he needs to dodge the threats until the saving exit door appears. That was close. After surviving the encounter with the beast containing a chain chomp, our hero finds himself in front of a toxic swamp. This place is the home of a horrible hag living in a tower. From there she poisons the swamp with her magical power. This hag only allows to enter the swamp whom which shows her an incredibly complicated way to trigger a P-switch. From our ongoing series without an end. 
The Goomba Shoe Solution is what I proudly present. Hooray! This allows Mario to enter the swamp. The swamp is a toxic place full of poison cheap cheeps, spiked clouds and ouchy plants. Mario's only chance to cross the swamp is a fire clown car. Once again the princess magical Goomba shoe helps him a lot here. Because if Mario pilots a clown car while sitting in a Goomba shoe the clown car transforms into a super clown car, becomes bigger and shoots fully charged fireballs by default. So all that Mario has to do is to dodge the toxic water and the toxic clouds and he should be able to reach the hex tower alive. If Mario wants to defeat this evil witch, he needs to solve a small puzzle room. The evil hag hides herself in an unreachable spot on a Monty immobilizer to avoid teleporting. It's not possible to reach her there, but luckily there is a Goomba shoe hidden in this room. Together with this shoe, Mario is able to defeat the muncher and to trigger the P-switch from far away. Once the P-switch is gone, he's able to get even closer to the witch and to defeat her with another ground pound shoe shock wave. And now the final challenge for our hero awaits. He stands in front of Bowser's castle gates. Mario survived this wild chase. The Goomba Shoe Princess is locked up in this place. But before Mario is finally able to rescue the princess once again, he needs to find a way to enter the castle, as the drawbridge is currently up and there is no way for him to enter the castle otherwise. Luckily there is a drawbridge contraption to his left. All that our plumber needs to do here is to jump out of his beloved shoe, so that the shoe triggers this P-switch, which opens up the castle entrance. Now our plumber has to abuse the saw blade as an elevator to get to the next floor. Sadly for him, he just missed the saw blade elevation cycle, but Bowser has already created hundreds of Mario courses and left him some question blocks here to play around so that he has something to do while he waits. Bowser usually wants to kill our plumber, but it looks like he doesn't want that Mario becomes bored. Once the blade elevator is back, Mario is finally able to reach the last obstacle. Bowser blocked the entrance to the next room with two bullet blasters. Hmm. I have no idea how Mario is go- Oh! It's almost unbelievable. Mario made his way through the forest. He survived an encounter with the ancient beast in the firepipe mountains. He even traversed the toxic swamp. Bowser already fled, but before he ran away, he ordered his son to defend the imprisoned Goomba Shoe Princess. But Mario doesn't need to kill Bowser Jr. All he needs to do is to survive until the last door between him and his princess opens. Mario is trapped in a gigantic living cage. This cage is carried by a Goomba shoe and rapidly jumps around. Our plumber is able to control the direction in which the shoe jumps a little bit by placing himself to the right or the left. And that's really fortunate for him because Bowser Jr. spits fireballs in his direction. Luckily, he only has to survive until a P-switch timer expires to save the Goomba shoe princess. Together with the Goomba Shoe's help in this stage, Mario was able to rescue the princess from her cage. Many now praise the work of the shoe, but the shoe was you. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and maybe you feel like for my rhymes I should be thrown in a cell. And want to hit the subscribe button as well. I hope you have a wonderful day and to see you soon. Goodbye.